If you've heard about Skull and Bones, Ubisoft's upcoming open world pirate game, and want to know a bit more about what the game is like, here are five things we know about the game thanks to the most recent Ubisoft Spotlight. First of all, you're going to be able to craft up to 12 ships in the game at launch. Now I don't believe this means you can have up to 12 ships in your inventory, I mean that there are 12 different types of ships that you'll be able to own. We already know about a few of these. The first is the Dow, which is the first ship you'll captain in Skull and Bones. This is the smallest ship in the game and as such, it's pretty weak. You're not going to be taking down any Man of Wars with this, but it is perfectly built to allow you to sail into shallow waters and gather some resources at the start of your pirate journey to build bigger and better ships like the Brigantine. The Brigantine seems to be the next tier up from the Dow and will have four weapon slots for you to equip cannons and long range weapons. Other ships that we have seen confirmed but don't know a lot about are the Sambuk, the Pariwakang, Brig, Barge, Snow, Cutter, Corvette, Sloop, Ganja and perhaps a ship called the Hulk. And in order to craft these ships, you'll unlock their blueprints as you progress through the game. There will be two server types for the game, depending on whether you want to engage in PvP or not. PvP servers are exactly that, servers where you can engage and be engaged by other human players, as well as interact with and engage the AI. However, if you want perhaps a more relaxed play session, you can play on a PvE server. You can still attack the AI ships in the game, but you don't need to worry about being attacked by pirates. What's amazing about this is that there's no penalty to it. You don't lose progress by switching from PvP to PvE, you don't earn less experience from the sound of things, and I just love how accessible that makes the game to those players who aren't fans of PvP heavy experiences. While this is primarily an open world naval game, there are moments where you can go on land and experience part of the game there. Now we haven't seen the full extent of this yet, but so far this primarily includes docking at a pirate hideout where you can go and collect missions and supplies, you can customise your ship and captain, and likely just hang out with other players. It seems though that you will be able to land on other areas in order to dig up treasure from maps that you'll find throughout the gameplay and interact with black market traders, but at its heart, this is a game that focuses on what happens on the seas. There will be a season pass in the game, which has been suggested via the game's pre-orders, as one of the freebies is something called a Smuggler Pass token that unlocks the premium Smuggler Pass, usable once on any season of the game. Now, what exactly will be contained within the season passes is yet to be shown, but my fingers are crossed that it'll all be cosmetic-only items with maybe some in-game resources dotted about here and there. But what I find very interesting here is the wording premium smuggler pass. Now I wonder whether that alludes to the existence of a non-premium battle pass that everyone gains access to like in Red Dead Online and other titles. We'll just have to wait and see and they'll probably announce more information about this near the time. Speaking of progression, you'll progress and level up in Skull and Bones through something called the Infamy System. Now in essence this is your reputation as a pirate and as you do more piratey things your infamy rating will increase. No doubt giving you access to better ships or blueprints, maybe some new areas of the map, but it's very likely it will give you access to new missions which is one of the ways that you'll gain infamy in the first place. If you want to know more about the Infamy System, I've actually dedicated a whole video to it which you can find by clicking here. But if Skull and Bones is a game you're excited for and you find this video helpful, why not subscribe with notifications on to find out when my next Skull and Bones video goes live.